video I am going to give an introduction about the architecture course in the profession. First, I want to ask one question with you. What is architecture? Architecture is the art and science of designing buildings. The second question, what is the difference between an architect and a civil engineer? Architects deals with design and aesthetic components. But civil engineers deals with structural planning and execution of the creativity in the design of the architect. If you take a construction of a building, it is a teamwork. There will be an architect, engineers, quantity surveyors, constructors, etc. But the head of the team will be an architect. Now let's discuss some interesting facts about this profession. If you take our country Sri Lanka, currently about 1400 chartered architects are there in our country. So there is a good demand for this profession. A chartered architect can charge minimum 6% as a fee from the total construction cost. Nowadays, to build a house, minimum 15 million required. So, minimum charge of a chartered architect can obtain from a house is 9 lakhs. So, imagine how much an architect can earn for a month when he do minimum 5 projects. Now, you can clearly understand about the profession and how will be the demand in the future for this profession. So now let's discuss about this course. Architecture course is a 5 year undergraduate degree program. If you want to follow this course, you have to sit and pass the aptitude test. If you refer the UGC book, the proposed intake for this year is 75. Annually, 4000 to 5000 students are sitting for this exam and 300 to 400 students are passing this exam. The selection for this course will be like this. Students who are having more set score who have passed this exam will be selected through district wise. For an example, in a district, there are 5 students are passing this aptitude test. But UGC is going to take only 2 students. So out of these 5 students, the students who are having more set score will be selected to this course. So this is the procedure of selection to this course after passing the aptitude test. This is a very competitive exam, but very easy to pass this exam when you practice well. After completing this 5 year degree program, you have to do a charter for about 3 years. Only chartered architects can sign for a big project. During this 5 year degree program, the designing will be an important part in this course. During first year and second year of your course, you have to design small projects. For example, service station, house, factory and seating object like that. From third year to final year, you have to design big projects, for example, railway station, hospitals like that. Along with this design, there are some theory subjects also there. It is very easy to study. This course is not mainly focusing on exams. This is a practical one. Mainly it is focusing on the design. This course is not that much difficult when compared to engineering. If you have passion for architecture, it will be very easy for you. Up to now, we have discussed about what is architecture and what is the difference between an architect and an engineer and about this profession and also about this course. If you are having any doubts regarding the course and the profession, mention it in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in next session.